The Elder Scrolls 5. Skyrim is a role-playing video game set in the fictional land of Skyrim. The player creates a character and can choose from a variety of races, including humans, elves, and orcs. The player can then explore the vast world of Skyrim, completing quests, fighting monsters, and learning new skills. Skyrim is a very open-ended game, and the player can choose to follow the main story or simply explore the world at their own pace. There are many different things to do in Skyrim, such as joining guilds, becoming a vampire or werewolf, or simply wandering the countryside. The game is known for its beautiful graphics, immersive gameplay, and deep role-playing system. L.A. Noir is a game where you play as a detective in 1947 Los Angeles. You solve crimes by talking to people, looking for clues, and chasing suspects. The game is very realistic, and you have to be careful about what you say and do. If you're a fan of crime movies and TV shows, then you'll love L.A. Noir. Prancing around. Fine, I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm gonna take a look around. Dying Light Platinum Edition is a game about fighting zombies and surviving in a city that is full of them. You can climb buildings and jump around to avoid the zombies. You can also use weapons to kill them, but be careful, there are a lot of them. You can play with your friends to help you fight the zombies and survive. The game is fun and exciting, but it can also be scary at times. If you like zombie games, then you will love Dying Light Platinum Edition. Immortals. Phoenix Rising is a game where you play as a hero who must save the gods using your special powers. You will explore a beautiful world, solve puzzles, and fight monsters. training come into focus. I should be able to survey the land from up there. Assassin's Creed. The Rebel Collection is a game where you can be a pirate or a Templar hunter. You can sail the Caribbean, fight naval battles, and assassinate your enemies. You can also explore a massive open world and learn new skills. In the game The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, you play as Link, a brave hero who must save the kingdom of Hyrule from evil. You can explore a big world, fight enemies, solve puzzles, and find new weapons and armor. The game is fun and exciting, and there is always something new to do.
Monster Hunter Rise is a game where you fight big monsters. You can use different weapons and armor to fight them, and you can also make new weapons and armor from the materials you get from them. You can play the game by yourself, or you can play with your friends. These are the hunting bases. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is a big adventure game where you explore a huge world and fight enemies with your friends. You play as six different characters, each with their own special abilities. You have to work together to solve puzzles, defeat monsters, and find out why two countries are fighting each other. The game is very big and there's a lot to do. You can explore new places, find hidden treasure, and fight challenging enemies. You can also fish, cook, and collect items. If you have friends, you can team up with them online to do special missions together. The Witcher 3. Wild Hunt is a big game where you play as a monster hunter named Geralt. You can explore a huge world, fight monsters, and complete quests. The game has a lot of different things to do, and you can play it in any order you want. The Legend of Zelda. Breath of the Wild is an open-world action-adventure game where you play as Link, a hero who must save the kingdom of Hyrule from Calamity Ganon. You can explore the vast world of Hyrule at your own pace, and there are many different ways to approach challenges. The game features a variety of weapons and items that you can use to defeat enemies and solve puzzles. You can also cook food, climb mountains, and ride horses. <laughs> 